Hello all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at some two shillings coins from Great Britain. And as you can see on the left we have a two shillings coin and that's of course the 1953 as you can see in the bottom. And on the right we have another two shillings coin. I believe that's a 1966. And then we have these coins in the center which uh, appear to be exactly the same size. Uh, they have the same reading if you go down the, the middle of the reading here, you can see that you know these coins appear to be exactly the same size. They have the same reading on them. They look like they're the same exact makeup. But if we look at this coin on this side, we see that that is a two shillings coin on that side. It's a 1967, the last year they made them, uh, or for general circulation. But if we look at the coin on this side, we see that it is a, what the hell is that? Well, it is a 10 new pence coin, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Why is a 10 new pence coin the exact same size, shape, and makeup as the two shillings or one florin coin from Great Britain? So let's get our uh, camera set up, and let's break them down, and let's take a look. So this, of course, this one on the right is the, the 10 new pence coin. And it's it's called sometimes called the the large ten new ten, ten pence coin, but essentially because it's a new pence, it uh it's easy enough to kind of figure out which one's which by just looking at it. There we go. And so if we uh, look at this one on the left, we see that it is a Queen Elizabeth the second, and she is facing to the right. And at the bottom here, it says. Uh, what right here it says Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia, Regina, and then there's the plus sign. And you can see she's wearing, if we go, if we get the light just about right, you can see that she's wearing kind of a laurel garland uh, in her hair rather than a crown. And this is the only uncrowned portrait uh, that I know of of Queen Elizabeth II on a coin. And she has a ribbon flowing in her hair. I believe she was 29 years old, and this is a engraving that was made when she first um, took the throne by Mary Gillick engraving. And then if we turn it over we see that on the back it is a 1967 two shillings and if we turn it up so that um, we look around the outside of it we see that we have the Scottish thistle, we have the Welsh leek, we have the Irish shamrocks as we go around the outside, and in the very center we have the Tudor rose. This is a 1967, and you heard me say that this was the last year that they made this coin for general circulation, and that's because it was. Now, in uh, these coins were made, the, the two shillings coins were made uh, with Queen Elizabeth on them from 1953 to 1970. This particular one uh, was made from 1954 to 1970. The first year of issue was, uh, it said Brit Omni on it, or Queen of All Britons. Um, and from 1954 on, they had this particular image on it. And that is the Mary Gillick front and the Edgar Fuller, Cecil Thomas back. And if we look at this and, and just magnify it even more, we see that, um, that if, as you go around the outside, we have this kind of toothed, uh, beaded rim that goes around the outside of this coin. And if we tip it up just a little bit, like this, you can actually see the initials here. And those are the initials, if we have to go all the way around them, we see that there's an EF and a CT, Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas, and that's where the initials are of the engraver on this particular coin. Now, when they decided to move in Britain towards decimalization, they took these coins and they said, this coin here, um, it was worth 24 pence, and so that is one-tenth of a British pound, and so when they moved to decimalization, they, they decided to have another coin that was one-tenth of a British pound. But in this case, because decimalization is a zero to 100, in 1968 they came out with this coin, which was a 10 new pence coin. So this was worth one-tenth of a pound, and this one was worth one-tenth of the old pound, so they actually kept this one. 
So the Queen Elizabeth two shillings coin was actually good to use for buying things until June 30th, 1993. And this coin here, the 10 pence coin, um, when they introduced it in 1968, uh, was also worth the same exact amount. So if we see them, we put them on top of each other, we see that they're the same material, they're the same size, and they're worth exactly the same amount, but they have a different portrait on it. And of course the 10 pence has the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, the Arnold Machen portrait. All right, so if you're trying to figure out what uh, two shillings coin, why it's the same exact size as the large 10 new pence, you know why, because they substituted them to mean the same thing. And of course, we also want to uh, remind you that this, when they, they talk about a florin coin, that's what they mean. Two shillings equals one florin. So that means that the 10 new pence equaled one florin also. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.